Conservative MP Michael Chong is set to appear at a hearing in the United States Congress in a couple of weeks. It's regarding foreign election interference by China. Members of the U.S. committee reached out to Chong after reading media reports about his family being targeted by Beijing and hearing Chong's claims that he received threats related to his support of China's Uyghur population. Chong says his upcoming testimony in Congress is, quote, not an everyday occurrence, and he hopes Canada and the U.S. will work more closely together against foreign interference. His appearance before the Congressional Committee, scheduled for September 12th. CBC's Alex Panetta has the story from Washington. So remember that story about Michael Chong's family being targeted by Beijing uh, uh, because of China's anger about Michael Chong's criticism of the government in Beijing, particularly about its treatment of Uyghurs? Well, definitely most Canadians will remember that story because it was a big deal in Canada. But you know who else noticed that story? Well, members of the uh, China Congressional Executive Committee here in Washington. It's a body that was created about a quarter century ago Part of the process that led to China and the United States establishing normal trading relations. Well, that bill created a body that every year puts out a report looking at human rights abuses uh, in China. Uh, and over the last several years, these reports have begun documenting cases where the Chinese government has extended its authoritarian ways outside of China and put pressure on people with, beyond its own borders. And that might sound familiar because it's sort of what happened in the case of Michael Chong. Uh, the Chong story appeared in places like the New York Times, and it was noticed here in the United States, not by a lot of people. It was not a big story here, but people did notice it, uh, people who work on this issue. And uh, you are correct. Uh, Michael Chong was invited along with a couple of activists and analysts of, uh, the, of the Chinese government and things like its uh, so-called police stations overseas, who will all be appearing at this hearing on September 12th uh, on Capitol Hill. It's not exactly a body of Congress. The, the, it's a unique structure, this organization. It's, it's got members of the Senate, members of the House, and members of the executive branch appointed by the President of the United States. So all these people will be in this hearing asking Chong questions about his case. I, I find it fascinating. He says it's rare. It is rare, right, Alex? Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's not only rare for a Canadian politician uh, in general to be testifying in the United States or before, before a parliamentary body in another country, but for a, a Canadian opposition MP. I, I spoke with Michael Chong yesterday, who told me he's going to speak with the... Uh, he'll, he'll contact the Canadian embassy here in Washington to discuss his testimony beforehand. Uh, you know, just going from memory here, I, I, don't, I don't have an exhaustive list of this because I don't think there's a website that tracks this, but I am pretty sure, uh, according to my own occasionally faulty memory, that the last Canadian uh, MP to appear before the U.S. Congress uh, would have been Tony Clement when he was minister, I think minister of industry at that specific time, uh, he he t testified about 10 years ago or so. Uh, some people will recall that Jason Kenney, not an MP at the time, was the uh, Premier of Alberta when he testified uh, just over a year ago, I believe, uh, before the Congress. So it's an extraordinarily rare phenomenon for a you know, member of one parliament to appear before uh, another, although this, in the strictest sense, is not exactly uh, a body of the United States Congress, but just li merely located in the Congress, including members of Congress. <laughs> Alex Panetta in Washington.